Hello everyone and welcome to Words of Wisdom. My name is Toastmaster Madhura and with me is Toastmaster Raghavan. This session with an eminent Toastmaster who will be sharing with us his Words of Wisdom. For the past five years, he has been a key member of the Mullen Toastmasters Club. A person who firmly believes that understanding the expectations of the role you perform and delivering them accordingly is the key to success. A software engineer by education, he has now ventured to start his own firm. He joined Toastmasters in 2016 and since then has rose through the ranks all the way to become the area director of District 98, Area M1. Fellow Toastmasters, we are glad to present to you one of the leading lights of the Mullen Toastmasters Club, Toastmaster okay. Ashwin. Hi, Toastmaster Ashwin. Hello, hello. Hi, Toastmaster Madhira. Hi, Toastmaster Raghavan. Nice to be here with you all having this uh, quick session, question and answer conversation. Thank you for having me. Toastmaster Ashwin, what inspired you to join Toastmasters in the first place? So basically, when I heard about Toastmasters, that is the time when I wasn't knowing anything about a development in leadership or public speaking or giving a speech or communication. I just knew about Toastmasters from a corporate club. So where I was working, they were having a Chennai branch and in that Chennai office, they had a Toastmasters club. So I used to get these posters of P1, P2, ACB, T TMOD, SAA, and I used to get confused. What are these uh, abbreviations? What are these words? And then later on, slowly, when I tried to research and find out what exactly it is, it completely hooked. I got hooked into the concept of how voluntarily people can come together. They can deliver something. They can get feedback and they can grow in their own. Uh, journey of uh, public speaking, communication, leadership. So this entire model was uh, very fascinating for me at that point. Even now it is. And that is why I thought, let's give it a try. So first time I went through all the segments of what happens in a Toastmaster meeting. And then I quickly Googled my PIN code and saw which is the nearest club. So I got Mullen Toastmasters. I attended a meeting over here. And the first meeting itself... I got completely impressed by what all things are happening. First, someone came, host was there, speech was being delivered, then table topic came in between. People were asking me to take a table topic. I was saying, no, no. And then others gave, then in the end, evaluation was provided of how the person can improve. So all these things together, along with the fun that they had in the break, post-meeting fun. So for first meeting, it was like a complete a new thing for me. And right from that day, I never looked back. And the next meeting itself, I thought, yes, I have to be a part of this initiative, this group. And uh, that is how I got inspired and interested in joining Toastmasters in general and specifically Mullen Toastmasters Club. Wow, Toastmaster Ashwin, that was actually quite an interesting and inspiring story. Like even now, I feel like I'm glad that I came up and joined Toastmasters. So with that, I would like to know how was your initial experience with the Toastmasters? So the initial experience, the initial few days, if, if we see, be it in terms of uh, the first few days of our college life, or for the first few days we join our first company, the induction, the onboarding. Similarly in Toastmasters Toastmaster as well, the first three, four weeks, like, like complete free, you can do anything. Uh, even at that moment, I wasn't able to raise my hands when the table topic master used to say, okay, who wants to go next? So that fear was there naturally, which all of us had in the beginning, have in the beginning. But at the same time, I was able to understand a lot of things because a lot of new things were happening. Speech, different project, objective speech, different type of... Uh, team on topic, Toastmaster of the topic. So a lot of information was uh, coming on my way and I was trying to gather everything and also understanding the structure, like what is the role of grammarian? What is our counter? So I took some time to understand all the structure. And once I understood, I started getting into the system directly from a timer, grammarian, our counter, 
and the best part is in the beginning you feel that people would judge you or you feel that okay if i do something wrong then this would happen but when you start making mistakes that is when you understand lot of people are there to support you and the same thing happened to me as well in grammarian or maybe in timer rule something some glitch happened but rather than being reprimanded i got encouraged in saying okay take the role again and learn how it is done in a proper way so and also explained what is the right way to do how to do and the support that you get so that is the best part i thought in the initial stage even though in the continued toast masa journey but initial stage when there is a shift from being conscious to shift in toast master people will clap hands even if you do a mistake so that encouragement and support that you get was really amazing and that uh, inspired me to keep the journey continued and continued and continued and also help all other toast masters who are starting the journey so that's how so, the initial few days and few weeks few months were so uh, toast master ashwin uh from those initial days when you uh, got your feet into uh, toastmasters and slowly uh, entered into the realm of toastmasters learned new things today you are a leader in uh, the toastmasters club having handled many leadership positions so what inspired to become a leader in toastmaster uh, apart from being just a toastmaster all right so if you see the tagline of toastmasters it says where leaders are made right so primarily leadership is given a lot of importance in toastmasters but we don't join toastmasters just to become leader we don't join toastmaster okay i want to improve my uh, evaluation skill or critical thinking we join for self development and that is what all of us even i had joined for communication public speaking but slowly when you get into the system when you get into the format of toastmasters meeting the community you understand yes there are a lot of opportunities to not only grow as a communicator but also to grow as a leader where you organize an event where you work with a team and collaborate work, work with the team to make a plan so simple things you beat a contest planning we think it is simple but a lot of work goes behind that planning so these opportunities slowly hone our leadership skills when we say leadership skills there are multiple things small tasks like prioritizing different ta- prioritizing different tasks coordinating with the team and allocating different tasks to different people and the art of delegation that is something even i feel that i need to learn in a better way but these small small things we keep on learning which overall hones our leadership skills so i would say there are a lot of opportunities and that is why in the beginning uh, at that time the excom had uh, given me a lot of opportunities sassy sunday so some of uh, the members might not be knowing so that is like a one day outdoor outdoor meeting or outdoor picnic some say so it is like you go to a different place like uh, we take a bus together in the morning you assemble 20 30 people go to a location like a resort or farm house there they conduct the meeting activities uh, fun games uh, uh, maybe speech or impromptu different things treasure hunt and then in the evening you come back so arranging that whole event and itself needs lot of planning execution lot of things so starting with those things as a team member then slowly sassy master so these roles the progression helped me to take bigger roles and bigger responsibilities and once you take responsibility that is when we feel that yes we need to complete it because i have taken the responsibility in the ownership and due to that ownership feeling we keep on learning different things in leadership so i felt taking more responsibility has helped me to uh, grow in this leadership journey that was absolutely great uh, to master ashwin learning about all those qualities and your experience and we can really see how you grew as a toast master in the club But we would like to know how did this uh, this and the experience that you gained and all this learning that you gained at toastmaster how did it help you in your personal and professional life right so people say personal and professional but uh, in general that one, one simple thing is evaluation that we have in all our meetings so when we keep on evaluating speeches 
when we keep on try to objectively identify what were the good points what was the criteria how it could be improved so one thing when you keep on doing with speech uh, the evaluation and critical thinking then slowly that uh, skill is developed and that you can apply on other aspects so you try to evaluate a situation try to evaluate some plan in the uh, office or maybe personal that uh, like life that you have made so that critical thinking and evaluating and how to make it better that is something that i feel has helped a lot in my life and apart from that there are multiple things like impromptu speaking if someone used to ask me something i was used to think if i say something what would other person think now due to table topics or maybe impromptu thing now at least i have some structure and some content in what i need to say so similarly the readership roles which i said in the last uh, last uh, conversation uh, they are uh, working with team in my office as well that has helped me to understand the other perspective and then accordingly make the plan or accordingly communicate what is need to be done so that way definitely i would say toastmaster has helped me a lot in my life and people who want to get the best out of toastmasters is i would say take responsibility take tasks take uh, small small activities and when you keep on doing that with experience you will be better in all aspects so that is my personal learning and how i applied it in my professional and personal both really nice to hear toastmaster ashwin but uh, you see that every role every leadership role or every activity that we take comes with a set of responsibilities and with those responsibility comes challenges so what are the challenges that you faced uh, in your toastmaster journey and the leadership role that you have taken at various points in toastmasters that is right challenges comes along the first challenge that i would say is i have shut down the room and others are giving me uh, the others will be shouting at me saying okay this night and you can't do it tomorrow or what so first challenge is prioritizing balancing so family time is there uh, work time is there self alone time self time it comes work uh, and other commitments hobbies and all what comes so first is since you have taken this responsibility to do some work or take a task or do something be a contest chair or any role then you will have to be determined yes i will be doing it and i'll be doing it at the best of my capacity or just doing for the sake of it is not a, a thing which will be helping others also it will not help yourself so first taking the responsibility and balancing work life uh, family life and all because time is required just we can say take the example of sassy sunday a lot of planning lot of research calling up people taking quotations all these things are there right so it would take time but it's upon us to understand that if we invest time in this we are getting out of it which a course or maybe an online course or a 10 of 8 hour workshop would not give because you are implementing these things and always you have the guidance of superiors of people who are already done to guide you and course correct so first challenge balancing time and responsibilities in work and uh, this thing uh, personal life second would be situational challenge for example if it is a just simple zoom master role if something some glitch happens then to overcome that challenge one thing is there that in toastmaster people are there to support so that challenge can always be taken as a positive thing because with those challenge only we learn so that is something we have a good community for and the challenges are good in that situational aspect because if we face some difficulty we'll overcome that difficulty and then we learn so that is the best aspect of experiential learning but once if the person is determined yes i will balance time i will balance my work life and all then the learning would be endless so that the challenge that i had and i'm trying to balance it in a way that uh, no one is getting impacted at the best that i can very insightful toastmaster ashwin and uh, honestly we can in fact see how toastmasters had even help you how to overcome and tackle those challenges very effectively and the community we have we can in, uh, see like the inspiring toastmasters uh, toastmasters like you who are so inspiring that we even find more members joining our community every other day so i would like to ask you 
like for these new members uh why do you think they should take up these leadership roles and what qualities should a new member have or develop to take up these roles and i have another part for this question as well so if a new member is not interested or in a leadership role what does toastmaster have or to offer to them what are the growth opportunities for them at the toastmasters okay so if i understand the first part is uh, for the new members uh, what it takes to be a leader or how they can get into leadership journey and second if yeah. someone doesn't want to be into the leadership track then how else and how else they can go into self development and improvement yeah so that's that is the good part of this question is you don't require anything to be a leader or to be someone uh, who does some work or learn something you don't require any credentials in toastmaster you don't require any educational background any experience to be a good toastmaster or a good leader the one thing that you require is willingness and being open willingness to learn willingness to do and learn so it is said that toastmaster is a self paced peer to peer and experiential so the third thing experiential is very important so i always say to people that toastmaster is a platform that is meant to fail that is meant that people can fail because here is the platform where you can fail and learn but tomorrow if you go to your office there if you fail in something there you will have consequences so here even if you fail people will pull you up people will make you understand people will help you to succeed so that is the platform that we have with a lot of good benevolent people in this community so the answer to the first question is just willingness is required and you should be open to all the opportunities that come to your way so it's just like simple like uh, nomination for excom now in the, in a couple of months the nomination for excom would be coming then uh, there would be some area level role or some special meeting to be conducted in mulun toastmasters club so the convener of that special meeting so when you're open and willing to take that responsibility you get experience you get to experience to learn new things and slowly with taking these roles you take excom role then you take area director role division director role district director many roles are there where the responsibility will slowly get higher and higher but you will also become stronger and stronger to tackle those challenges so willingness is the key thing second if someone is saying that no leadership is not for me then i would say reconsider the decision because this is a very good platform which would teach multiple aspect of leadership but yet if you are <clears throat> bound to the decision that leadership then i would say communication is also one of the very good tracks now it's anyway merged in pathways we have everything but focus on <clears throat> completing your paths even in pathways we have some leadership project we do that as well but communication if your goal is based on public speaking diligently work on your speeches work on your table topics work on different strategies of how to deliver table topics understand different aspects of speech like structure purpose of speech voice modulation body language how to create an impact storytelling so work on these different aspect of speeches and improve in that and the best part is we always have contest in toastmasters right so what learnings that you have like learned the skills that you gained acquired that you can apply during the contest so communication is also a track many people focus like completely focus on you can uh, go into that track as well but i would say to get the best of toastmasters program mix of communication and leadership the right balance is the best thing and like whole rounded personality that we say it helps you to become a better person in general so that would be my message to uh, peop- uh, the new members that they join join the toastmasters program wow thank you uh, toastmaster ashwin this was a really inspirational uh, message to all the members uh, hope a uh, lot of toastmasters would uh, follow your path and really uh, become great leaders like you have been thank you toastmaster ashwin for this interview and any any one line last uh, uh, line of message that you would like to leave to the toastmasters of the mulun toastmasters club yes yes so that's why i thought i'll just quickly raise hand so one last parting thought would i know an area director 
and also a division director who has not even completed the club level leadership role like vp head or president so the key message over here is to get exposure at different level never think that you slowly need to come with a, a progression slowly go ahead and go ahead and go ahead if you have that willingness to learn more to research and understand the concept the program of toastmaster to understand rules protocols and main the intention to serve the community that is important here the leadership is servant leadership it's not that you are getting a paycheck or not getting any uh, recommendation into some company everything is servant leadership and we are voluntary so if you have that core willingness intention to serve and help people even if you just join the club just a year or so uh, the opportunities are endless and one can take any role if you have right mindset right knowledge and the willingness to learn so never stop at any level never stop at uh, just one or two speeches and pathways the whole path the whole dtm is yet to be explored and all the very best for all the new members and the members who would be uh, looking forward to start their journey and progressing in pathways and leadership thank you uh, to master ashwin it was a really great session and great example for all of us great uh, thoughts in this line thank you to master ashwin thank this you for having me i'm so honored thank you so much to master raghavan and to master madhura and the entire synergy team team for coming up with this creative and insightful and useful uh, initiative where the knowledge transfer where experience can be shared with all other members thank you so much synergy team and all the best thank you to master ashwin